Yo, what up? It's your boy Jonathan Belcher. I'm making this video for all network marketers, all entrepreneurs, all go getters, all small business owners, all freedom fighters out there in the world. That's who I'm making this video for. Really quick before we go into the topic at hand today, let's do our daily affirmations. Let's start off with our daily affirmations. You remember how it goes, right? You remember how it goes? I am rich. I am financially free. I am financially prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am loved. Let's say it one more time. I am rich. I am financially free. I am financially prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am loved. And I believe if you look in the mirror every morning before you start your day and you say that simple affirmation to yourself, you will be blessed. You will be blessed because affirmations are positive self-talk that you send to the subconscious mind and that gets you into the right habits that you need to have success. And that's a perfect segue into what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk to you about talk to you today about is an encouraging word. If you're in business or you're looking to become successful in your business, you're an entrepreneur, whatever it is that you do, I want you to know that things do get better. The sales do start increasing. The success does start to come in. Your lifestyle does start to change. And you ask the question, you say, John, when the hell does things get better? Because that's what everybody wants to know, right? Everybody in business, we all want to get better. We all want to get more results. We all want more prosperity. We all want to change our lives. We all want some similar things. So you may be asking, John, when are things going to get better in my life and in my business? And here's my simple answer to your question. And please don't cast any judgment when I say this answer. I'm just being brutally honest and open, right? Things get better when you get better. Things change when you change. Things get better when you get better. Things change when you change. So what does that mean? I once heard the seven-figure earner, multi-million dollar earner, say to me, uh, well, eight-figure earner, actually. He said that, Life is 10% of what happens to us and 90% how we react to what happens to us. And I work with many people in business. I work with many entrepreneurs, many people who are turning their passion into a paycheck and stuff like that. And one of the key things that I find is that many entrepreneurs don't see the connection between how they are as a person affects their results, it affects their sales, and it affects the success they have in their business. Many entrepreneurs don't realize it. And they don't realize that literally if you're running your business and you're the CEO of your business and you're the captain of your ship, literally, it's all up to how what you're doing. It's all up to how you're thinking. It's all up to how you're perceiving things that's resulting in success or the lack thereof, period, period. So you say, John, how do I get better? How do I change? Well, number one. The first step to getting better and changing to be so that you can have more success in your life and in your business is number one, acknowledging that there needs to be a change. That's the first step is acknowledging that needs to be a change. Once you acknowledge that there needs to be a change, then you can identify what the problem is. And then after that, you can work on the solution. And unfortunately, many people in life, many people in business, they go through life, they, right? Not you. I'm talking about the they's out there. We don't want to be like the they's. When we talk about the 300 to Freedom movement, what we represent here in our movement and stuff like that, we represent greatness. We represent excellence. We represent ambition. We represent the power. We represent everything we need to change not only our lives, but also the lives of, of other people out there in the world. So you say, how do I change, John? I want to change. I want to get more results in my business, John. How do I do this? Of course, I said identify it, but don't be like most people. Don't be like the days. They, the people out there, what they do, which is wrong, is they focus so much on the problem. They focus so much on what's going wrong in their business. They focus so much on what's going wrong in their life. But what we do is we focus on the solution. We focus on being of service to other people. We focus on... What's going to solve this problem that we have here? We identify the problem, but we don't want to talk about it too long. We don't want to ponder on it too long. We don't want to wonder about the problem too long. We're trying to fix this problem. 
So one thing about my team and the way that I coach and, and we train each other is on being action takers, being problem solvers. And things start to get better in your business, in your life, the minute you become an action taker and you become an, a problem solver. Because that's all a successful entrepreneur is, is a person who has figured it out. They found the solutions to their early problems. So it's okay if you're brand new in the business and you're trying to figure things out. I would recommend getting training as soon as possible. I would recommend getting with a mentor as soon as possible. Why? Because what I just said, when you train and you learn and you grow, you're making yourself better. You're changing as a person. You're transforming as a person. You're elevating as a person. If you're elevating as a person, if you're getting training, if you're getting educated and getting more knowledge, you're getting better. So if you're getting better in turn as a result, you're better, your business will start to get better. How does it work that way? I'm going to explain to you, and this is something that took me a while. Like when I went to the first, my very first network marketing meeting, I was only 19 years old. But this is stuff that I wish I would have told my 19-year-old self at the time, you know, because I gave up on that business. I, I gave up on myself plenty of times. I failed over and over and over and over again. Uh, you know, been through the years of working for $8.50 an hour. I had this other dead-end job working at Babies R Us. Then I had this other dead-end job. And just going through the motions of failure and of over failure, of failure again and again and again, not living the life that I truly want to live, not being of service to people in the world, I realized I got to do something different. I got to change something. Because if I don't change something, nothing in my business, nothing in my lifestyle, nothing about my surroundings are going to change. You get what I'm saying? So... If you want change, you got to identify that there's a problem and in finding the solution that may, be, may require you investing in yourself, that may require you building on something personally on yourself. You know what I'm saying? And that's when things start to get better. And I realized that with me, when I started to get better in business, when I started to focus more on personal development, when I started to focus more on developing my mindset, developing my belief in myself, developing my faith in myself, developing my belief in other people, developing my people skills, when I started to focus on the, the, the development aspect, the knowledge aspect, when I started to focus on everything to grow me as a business owner, Everything in my business started to change. Everything started to increase. The sales started to increase. The traffic started to increase. The leads started to increase. The people who wanted to work with me started to increase. Literally every area of my business started to increase when I started to focus on increasing myself. And that is how changing yourself changes the game. A lot of times we get into business and we want to blame every exterior problem on why we're not having success. We like to blame the business. We want to blame the CEO. We want to blame the sponsor. You know, we want to blame the social media era we're in. We want to blame the government. We want to blame politics. We want to blame every last thing. But at some point or another, if we want to become successful, we have to take responsibility. We can't be like they's, constantly pointing a finger, constantly you know, being the victim. We can't be like the days out there, constantly hating and constantly criticizing. We got to be like us. We got to represent that excellence, that excellence where we real, we're willing to develop ourselves so that we can get better results in our life and in our business, you know? And, and this is the, what I wish my 19 year old self would have known. I wish I would have told, what I wish I would have known this stuff when I was 19 years old, when I first got introduced to my very first network marketing meeting out in Long Island, when we went to this house, me and my cousin, my cousin, he told me, come to this meeting. I checked out the meet meeting, and that's when I got introduced to entrepreneurship, to being my own boss. But people don't understand, if you're in the game, if you're an entrepreneur, I want you to know that things do get better for you. If you just stay the course, and you stay focused, you keep your eyes on the prize. You stay focused on the vision of what you want to create for yourself. Like I already told you plenty of times, my vision is to create 106 figure earners. What am I going to do once that vision is accomplished? We're going to create a thousand. What are we going to do once that vision is accomplished? We're going to create 10,000, then a million. You know what I'm saying? So the vision just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But I want you to realize that you are in the presence of greatness. You have greatness within you to accomplish what you want to accomplish. You can quit your job with that business opportunity if you want to. You can turn all your passions into a paycheck if you want to. You can do everything you put your mind to if you want to. But the question is, are you going to stay the course? Are you going to be willing to deal with the ups and downs? Because business always has its ups and downs. But the key is, despite the ups and downs that are having that you are experiencing in your business as far as results go, are you staying consistent with your actions? 
Are you staying consistent with your strategies? Are you staying consistent with the system that you said you're going to apply every single day in your business to get results? That's the question. The ups and downs, it's going to happen. It happens to everybody. It happens to the seven-figure earners. It happens to the eight-figure earners. It happens to the six-figure earners. Every last entrepreneur you see walking the face of the earth, they experience the ups and downs. What sets greatness apart from, let's just say, mediocrity, what sets greatness apart from mediocrity is the ability to stay consistent or not. You know, you got to develop the mindset where you're like, okay, I didn't make any sales today, but I still took action. I didn't make any sales today, but I still spoke to 30 prospects. I didn't make any sales today, but I still presented to 10 people about my business and about my products. You know what I'm saying? So no matter what the results are saying, the question is, are you passionate? Are you willing to continue? Are you willing to stay the course? Are you willing to keep taking action daily? Because the, the results can go up and down, but your action taking can't be up and down. Your principles can't be up and down. Your passion can't be up and down. Your faith in yourself can't be up and down. Your belief can't be up and down. That's the stuff that's non-negotiable. As long as you keep that stuff having to do with you, non-negotiable, you will start to get the results you want in your business. And then it will keep coming in and keep coming in and keep coming in the more you stay focused on what's bringing in those results. The more you st take action, the more you develop the right habits. You know what I'm saying? So you may not know, you may be in a part of your business right now where you don't have the right strategies or you, you may not have the right system. Maybe you don't have the right marketing plan and you need help with that. Well, the 300 to Freedom team, my movement, our team is here to help you. That's what we're here to show you how to do. All you got to do is click on the link in the description below. Work with JohnBelcher.com. Go to my website. You check out the training product section and you can check out the product line that we have here that will train you and teach you how to reach the next level in your business and in your life. But I'm here to tell you it does get better for you. Things get better for you. Get your head out of being down. Get your mindset out of that sunken place. Go from a non-believer to a believer in yourself because you are an achiever and you do have greatness in you, in you and you have to realize that. You have to realize that. I don't care if nobody else in the world realizes your greatness. If you realize your greatness, we could do great things together and we can impact people's lives in the world. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what this movement is about. We're impacting lives around the world. We're helping people. We're uplifting people. We're inspiring people. We're empowering people. We're enlightening people. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? So stay the course. Stay the course. Realize that you are on a daily journey to get better and better and better. So you're not in a business to be comparing yourself to other people in business. Nah, that's not why you're doing what you're doing. You're in business to compare yourself to your yesterdays. Is your today better than your yesterday? Is your this week better than your last week? Is your this month better than your last month? Are you getting better? That's my real question. If you're gradually getting better as the CEO, as an entrepreneur, as a person, if you're getting better mentally, spiritually, with your skill sets, everything you need to know, the ins and outs about your business, if you're getting better, I can guarantee your business is getting better. I guarantee it without a shadow of a doubt, your business is getting better. And if that's the case, success is coming right. It's, it's coming so fast, you can't even fathom how fast it's coming your way. That's how fast it's coming your way, as long as you're getting better. So just stay the course. That's all you got to do, and things get better in your business. You may have some months where things are, you get in more sales than other months. You might have weeks where you're getting more sales than other weeks. You might have days where you're getting more sales than other days. But all in all, when that average is out, you still realize that you're experiencing greatness. You still realize that you're getting the results you want. You still realize that you're making that million dollars a year that you want, if that's your goal. Why do I bring up, why did I say a million dollars a year? Why didn't I say another number? Is because that's my goal, is to hit a million dollars a year after taxes. That's my current goal right now, but that's not my vision. My current goal is to hit a million dollars per year after taxes. So that's why I brought that up. But my thing is, so many people just underestimate why personal development is so important for their success in business. They don't realize that your business can only become as successful as what you know and as successful as you are. Meaning that if you run your whole business, the person to work on, the person to develop, the person to make better 
is you. The very person you see in the mirror when you wake up in the morning, before you say your affirmations, you know, I am rich, I'm financially free, I'm financially prosperous, money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly, I am wealthy, I'm healthy, I'm loved. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Oh, <laughs> uh, man, I just get excited. I just get excited, right? So don't mind me. I just get excited. But yeah, like I said, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Maybe you're an entrepreneur already. Maybe you're looking to get into entrepreneurship. Maybe there's something about your life you truly want to change. Maybe you want to quit your job. Maybe you want to know what it feels like to make money as your own boss. Maybe you just want to take advantage of the rise of the money, making money online niche. Whatever the case may be, get connected with me, right? Check out the link in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. Hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever I make videos just like this one. And go to my website, workwithjohnbelcher.com, read my blog, share it with others, and get money. Also, share this video with five friends or family who you may know who may be in business or who can be blessed from this video. This is Jonathan Belcher. I'm going to see you at the top. Peace!